Yeah, well, hi everybody, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist. Let's have a look at the viewer's voice. I love these comments. Um, Jenny B, what a wonderful and peaceful song. We got that this morning. I think we'll start with JW Suicides. Thank you for further expansion on this topic, which has such importance. I still don't always agree 100% with what you say, but we'll keep testing it out, looking at pros and con info. Um, the problem with what I say, if I can just say to the viewers, is that your sinful nature doesn't want you to retain the message of grace. And if it did, if, if by nature we were able to retain the message of grace, we would not, I think church numbers would decline. You see, church, people go to church to get encouragement, encouragement about the finished work of Christ, encouragement about what they have in Christ. Because the sinful nature um, doesn't want you to buy naturally to, to retain that. It's very hard to retain it. That's why you have to stay in prayer and all this other stuff. But there's a verse in, and I think we should find it just while I have you here. We'll go and find it. <clears throat> um, what have we got? There's that design for that. There's the Bible. I'm sure it's in 1 Corinthians 2. I'm sure it's in 1 Corinthians 2. And it speaks about the natural mind cannot receive the things of God, the Spirit of God, nor can it know them because they're spiritually discerned. Just let me punch in discern. D-E-S-E-R-N-E-D, -E -E discern. <clears throat> um, nothing for that. Uh, just let me see natural... Natural, we'll go down to Corinthians 3. It must be Corinthians 3. Okay, here it is, viewers. 1 Corinthians 2.14 But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Um, <clears throat> to discern things spiritually, it's not easy. You've got to come to the conclusion that you have a sinful nature. You've got to come to the conclusion that what Christ has done is significantly important. But Chair, um, <clears throat> do test what I say. There are millions of people out there that disagree with what I say. Oh, gosh, yeah. But um, I try and... The reason why I read everything is so that I'm not just saying things. I like to read it so the viewers can see it and then determine for themselves which way they want to take it. I'm certainly not trying to push thoughts on myself. Now, we read this this morning and it was very, very interesting. And I won't read it again now, but I do want to read um, where Venoris comes in here. Venora Moon speaking to JW's suicides. Hi, sweet pea. You know I do not remember JW's even mentioning grace or the grace of God either. Grace is very important because we surely need it, even from one another, even from one another. And that's where shunning falls over, isn't it? Shunning will not, you know what? Shunning will not bow the knee to forgiveness and grace. It just won't. It just won't. Because grace is unconditional. You have to meet the Watchtower Societies or whatever other religion it is, conditions before they forgive it's terrible also regarding the issue issue of mental illness society still does not recognize the reality of it i know when i moved here i went through a terrible state and searched through the medical society and got no help until i admitted myself to the emergency room and they finally listened and put me in hospital meanwhile gee that's terrible venora i hope you feel better now Meanwhile, I had thoughts of suicide and could not have done and could have done so. I do not understand why they resist accepting this as a true illness. By words they claim to, but often by actions they show they do not. Hmm. Wow. Take care of yours and you. Take care of yours and know I love my sweet pea. JW Suicides. Venora Moon. Thank you, Venora. 
I was reading and replying to your comment here while you were replying to mine. I'm so glad you got into a place where they listened at that crisis point. We work so hard to prolong the lives of people with cancer, even when it means blitzing their bodies with terrible and damaging treatments. Yet someone in mental distress doesn't seem to be worth the effort. In the UK, they often wait for someone to be in life or death mode. Even then, it's a lottery as to what treatment you get. Not right. You're here. The gift of yourself is here. We are all blessed by that. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> then Venora replies and says, We belong to a mutual society. I think you are a good gift too. I know you are going through something and my heart goes out. It is a shame the UK and society in general will not help when sometimes we need it most. Sometimes just being listened to and taken seriously can be the healing we need it sure can you know the U uk is going through a terrible thing with the muslims you know oh the muslims over there they're, they're taking over whole communities it's terrible so thanks for Nora and jw suicides jenny b 52 hi jenny if only more people would open up their minds to see this i think the world would be a better place still not perfect but close and that's about the video on how to disarm your sinful nature. Um, Green Goddess, tell Alestai, it is finished. Good memory, Doc. I thought it was that word, but I wasn't sure and I didn't want to commit myself. Um, Green Goddess, I've jumped off the mountain. I just believe it. I'm flying in the freedom that is in Christ. Praise God for his mercy and grace. She gets you going, doesn't she, the Green Goddess? The truth shall set us free. I just love how you have pounded home the points you have about the Lord, doing or not doing something, and God's merciful gift of the law of grace. I love it. You're making it so simple. Well, I hope I am, because it took two decades of flogging me brain with the New Testament in this ear and the Old Testament in that ear to finally get it myself. It is in a nutshell the very seed that is the gospel. Everything you've said is exactly what I read and understand in God's word for myself already. Isn't that wonderful? To me, you are God sent to deliver this message in a very clear and understandable way. Well, thank you. If <clears throat> anyone wishes to see the Lord himself, say it in his own many, many ways, they will find it in the New Testament. I love our Lord. Lovely. Green Goddess. Satan uses our sin consciousness against us. He, like false teachers, wants us to live under the law and to never mind the finished work of Christ on the cross. Now the key thing is there, the finished work of Christ. Why? Because he doesn't want us to just believe in it, in Christ. He wants us to think that the grace of God in Christ is not sufficient. That is, and that it is not finished. Even all Christ's last words were telelestai. Even though Christ's what last words were tele, tetelestai. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly either. It is finished. Death and sin and the devil have been defeated. We can rest in this finished work of our Lord and Saviour. Believe in it, receive it as the gift it is, and rest in the peace, joy, and hope. He promises, I'm getting out there and I'm living. Good for you. And that's beautiful. Now, I just want to see if we can find this scripture um, about God's sufficiency. Um, it's up in, is it? Um, God is able to do all things. God is all sufficiency. Let's put all sufficiency. Sufficient. Oh gosh. All. Hang on. Sufficiency. I don't think we're going to get anything for that. No. 
God is able to make all grace, all grace, all grace. Let's try that. I hit caps lock then. Okay, here we go. It's up here somewhere. I think it's in Philippians or somewhere. Here. <clears throat> here we go, viewers. You should make this a, um, a um, confession. God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Now, why don't we say this together? Let me set myself, I'll put, leave myself there. Let's say this together. Let's apply this passage to ourselves. I'll say it, and then you say it, and we'll personalize it. 2 Corinthians 9 8. God is able to make all grace abound toward me. that I, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. And let's put on the end, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. That's our viewer's voice. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watched it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.